Hi everyone, I am Vizishan and today I am going to show you how to make a mirror in 3ds Max. Now I am not going to make any V-Ray rendering, uh, but instead I will be using the mental ray rendering uh, as I want this tutorial as easy as possible for the beginners. So let's start. Enter perspective view with Alt W in your keyboard. And now let's make a, a box. Select box over here and drag your mouse. Uh, the drag is going to act as the mirror. Uh, so yeah, let's create it and now let's give the mirror map uh, now select M in your keyboard uh, now you will see this material editor uh, option box and uh, over here come over here to in select this plot and uh, change the specular level to 100 and let's change the glossiness to 50 and soften to 0 0.1 uh, and then now let's change the map so come over here to maps and uh, in maps uh, select uh, click the re reflection over here and uh, instead of none let's change it to uh, ray trace yeah that's it and uh, click ok yes that's fine now let's uh, assign the material to the box now select this assign material to selection yeah that's fine now let's uh, check uh, check the rendering but before that let's create a an object uh, in front of the mirror so select the sphere over here and uh, drag your mouse to create a sphere and now let's change the color of the sphere so uh, come to material editor press m in your keyboard select another another slot uh, let's change the color to something of uh, red and that's fine and uh, click ok and uh, let's change the specular level to 50 it doesn't matter it's uh, it's fine so let's give the uh, leave the give the color to the sphere so uh, click assign material to selection and yeah, that's fine now uh, bring it over here and uh, let's make it a little smaller and that's fine and uh, let's make the mirror a little uh, yeah that's fine let's change the width uh, and uh, yeah that's fine now come over here to rendering and in rendering uh, select render setup yeah and over here come to common in common uh, go uh, scroll down to see ascend renderer select it and uh, in production let's change it to default scanline renderer to uh, mental ray renderer and uh, click ok and now let's render uh, now as you can see the uh, mirror reflection is over there in the mirror so uh, I'll show you other ways to see uh, to properly see that and uh, so uh, click uh, with the uh, with the mirror selected uh, move the uh, move the mirror with shift in your keyboard and that's fine now there's a duplicate now let's uh, rotate it 90 degree and uh, yeah, let's move it over here and let me make it a little larger yes that's fine now let me move it, this over here and that's fine so as you can see you, you can see all these uh, reflections in the mirror and uh, that's how you can do this uh, mirror there are other ways to do it but uh, i think this is uh, most uh, this is the uh, most simpler simple way to do it do it and uh, 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 thank you for watching and check out my other videos.